Welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how to set three time zones using the GMT watch. In this video, I'm going to use the Rolex ch &R. Firstly, it's important that we understand a little bit about the watch. So the bezel itself represents 24 hours. The black markers represent nighttime hours with the brown markers representing daytime hours. The bezel itself is also bi-directional. So it rotates both ways and it has 24 clicks each click representing an hour in the day. So before I talk about what happens when the crown is pulled out at different positions, I'm gonna just mention about the GMT Master 2 and how it differs from GMT Master 1. So with the GMT Master 2, the main difference is, is that the hour hand moves independently and you'll see this when I switch it to crown position 2. However, there is a downside to that and that is the date cannot be moved independently. For the date to change, the watch has to be turned past 12 o'clock. In terms of pulling out the crown, there's three points and the first one will allow you to wind the watch. With the second point, it allows you to move the hour hand independently and when it moves, it moves in hour intervals as you can see. And this keeps its position, so if it's half past the hour, it remains halfway between the hour interval markers. On point three, all three hands move together, the minute hand and the hour hand and the GMT in tandem. This means if you need to set the time after the power reserve runs out, the GMT hand will correct itself when setting the time. Let's talk about setting the three time zones. In this scenario, we'll pretend I'm on holiday in Dubai, my home is in the UK and that I have a close friend in New York. So we're gonna use the UK London time for the GMT hand, where it is 6 p.m. The buy is the local time zone, which is four hours ahead at 10 p.m. and set the third time zone as New York, where it is 1 p.m., which is five hours behind London. The first step is to set the GMT hand using crown position three. In this case, we're using London at 6 p.m., so we move it to the 18th hour. Here, we also want to make sure the minute hand and the date is also set correct. The second step is to move the local hour hand using crown position two, in this case the 10 p.m. which is the buy time. As I mentioned, the GMT Master 2 has a quick hour hand adjustment, so that makes this nice and easy. We can now close the crown. To read the third time zone, we simply rotate the bezel. If a country is ahead of the GMT time zone, we move it anti-clockwise and if it is behind the GMT time zone, we move it clockwise. Here, New York is five hours behind London, so we will move it clockwise by five clicks, each click representing an hour. Here, you can now read the New York time using the 24 hour hand, here at 1 p.m. I hope you found that helpful. Feel free to go back and screenshot the notes for future reference, as it's never easy to get that first time round. If you found the video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.